today on Running to Him. A walk with Christ means that we are active participants in that walk and passive receivers. Today we will read Colossians chapters 1 and 2 and concentrate on chapter 2 verses 5 through 8. Colossians 2 5 through 8 says, For even though I am absent in the body, nevertheless I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good discipline and the stability of your faith in Christ. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, having been firmly rooted, and now being built up in him, and established in your faith, just as you were instructed, and overflowing with gratitude. See to it that no one takes you captive through the philosophy of an empty deception, according to the tradition of men, according to the elementary principles of the world, rather than according to Christ. As I've said in previous devotions, I love verbs and verbals. This is because they are action words and help us focus on what we are to do in our walk with Christ. Beginning in verse 6, we have the verb walk in the present tense and active voice. In verse 7, we have the verb instructed, which is in the aorist tense and passive voice. Now, that means that, that action was done to us rather than our performing that action. Also in verse 7, we have the participles rooted, built up, established, and overflowing. These words put together describe how we are to walk in Christ and the result of that walk. So first, we'll examine the verb walk and instructed. These two verbs project two distinct actions. We are to take it upon ourselves to walk in Christ. Nobody can walk in Christ for us. It is our action alone. And the verb instructed, being in the passive voice, means that someone else taught us. We cannot teach ourselves about God. If we read the scriptures and gain understanding, it's through the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit instructing us. If we sit in a classroom, the person leading the class or other participants of the class teach us. Learning is something that happens by somebody teaching us something. But it is our responsibility to come to the teacher. So the participles in verse 7 describe what happens when we walk in Christ. Receiving instructions as we go, we are rooted, built up, established, and overflowing with gratitude. The word rooted has the meaning of being firmly placed somewhere. The first time I grew okra, I didn't realize how long the plant's root would be. We planted it in a raised bed and put some material on the ground to prevent the weeds from growing on the bed. We should have realized that it also presented the roots from going deep into the ground. We planted the okra at one end of the bed, and at the end of the growing season, when we tried to pull the okra out of the ground, we found that the root was almost six feet long. We could not have pulled the okra root out if that root had grown straight into the ground. That's how rooted we are in Christ. Our root is deep. But we are also built up and established as we actively walk with Christ. We function more like him. We begin to look like him and sound like him and think like him. And as we grow more in him, we become more established. As Psalm 1 reads, we are like a tree firmly planted by flowing water. Finally, our lives begin to overflow with gratitude. We begin to realize just how much God has done for us, how he has molded us, and how he has protected us from Satan. So today... Let's reread our call out verses several times throughout the day and marvel at what God has done. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.